Hello, this is Sarah from sarahestelle.com and welcome to my sharing about flower and vibrational essences for Gemini energy. So this will be very useful for you if you have Gemini energy that's significant in your own astrology. It will also be important for you as we enter the Gemini new moon cycle. So whenever you're watching this, um, if the energies are a little bit heady, if you're in your head too much, if your thinking processes are taking over, then I hope this will be helpful. So we're going to be looking at essences from different ranges of essences. They are actually the ranges that we use in the Diploma in Flower and Vibrational Essences that I have the honor to run. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what Gemini energy feels like. So Gemini is a very linear kind of um, energy. So if you, if you tend to think in linear ways rather than uh, round ways that are more expansive and intuitive, um, this will really, really help you. It's helpful sometimes to think in these linear ways because it helps us go from the challenge to the solution. So that's a really, really good thing, but it's not always helpful if we need to explore around the edges. So if you need to go beyond any type of linear thinking into more feminine ways or to bring a linear process and a more rounded feminine process into it and mesh them together, this can be really, really helpful. Because Gemini belongs to the air element and it's connected with Mercury and also at the time of recording this Mercury is in retrograde so that it could bring some more interesting energies up. Um, these Gemini energies tend to be fairly head-centered so if you find yourself with a lot of swirling thoughts, with a lot of um, mental chatter or mental fatigue then this could also be really really helpful for you. Um, Gemini's love to gather information, really, really love to work with that mental energy and bring it all together. So it may help you as well, gather that energy together and then commute, communicate it back out there again. Gemini loves to be free, it loves to have mental freedom to go exactly where it wants to go. So it's important that we honor this energy and make sure that it's in balance. It's a very creative energy. So by harnessing the creativity and the freedom and also taking essences that can help us drop more into our bodies, it can be really, really useful. So let's get started now on the different essences that can help. So, the very first one is this lovely essence from the Batch range called Serato. Now, Serato is a beautiful essence to take whenever you get, uh, you start looking outside of yourself for the answers. Maybe there's something you need to move ahead with in a cute or more long range way, and you start doubting yourself. You start you're not listening to your inner voice. You're listening and watching what's going on around you rather than going inside. So Serata is a lovely friend of the heart and is probably a great first port of call for you as a Gemini or in Gemini strong energies. I love this essence. It really puts you back in touch with your heart chakra and it's such a beautiful balancer as well with her blue frequency. Very calming. The next essence that wanted to come forwards today was Macrocarpa from the Australian bush range. Now being in our heads all the time can be really tiring, really tiring. And if we do this for a long time and we're not paying attention to our inner voice, we can go into kinds of mental burnout and then physical burnout. So if any of those words um, resonate with you, go find the Macrocarpa essence from the Australian bush essence. It's a really good foundational booster for your energy levels if you are very, very tired and maybe that's been going along on for some, for some time. Like a really good 
uh, root chakra, connect your roots back down to the earth, plug yourself into the grids and you'll feel so much better with macrocarpa. It's going to really help draw that mental energy down and through your body. Here's Canterbury Bells from my own range, Moonflower Essences. Now, why do I love this for Gemini energy? So I spoke at the beginning about the importance for Geminis to gather this information and then speak it back out there again. Uh, so this will really help you express yourself. All essences that kind of look like bells or have bells in their frequency really going to help you with sounding your unique frequency out into the world either through your voice through your words or just magnetically um, sending the frequency out there but it will help you get clarity and again that's what we're looking for in Gemini energy is to have this beautiful mental clarity but then we need to do something about it and actually send it out into the world and Canterbury Bells can really help you again drop that energy down and then send it out through your voice or your words. Okay now I was very guided to add a couple of crystals or what we usually call gem essences to this particular sharing. Gem essences have a denser quality to them and they can really help us ground. So here's the first one that wanted to come forward, which is selenite. Again, from it's, from, I've, uh, it's in my Moonflower Essences range and there are other ranges, of course, for all these essences that you might find. So just go and look for them. So the Moonflower one is actually made in moonlight. Selenite is a beautiful clearer of energies. So at any time, we want to keep ourselves really, really clear of anything that's not resonant with our way forward. Now, Gemini is often known as the shapeshifter. It can go from here to here. It can make a decision and change its mind. It can be in almost two different places and appear to be two different things at the same time. Now, it's one of the gifts of Gemini, so this is not for us necessarily to try and get away from it, but we want to keep those energies very clear and clean for ourselves, for others, and also to keep that mental clarity. And the other gem that wanted to come forward was this beautiful aquamarine. Now, aquamarine again is made by many different people. The two that I love are the Alaskan essences and there is also one in my own range in moonlight, moonflower essences. So aquamarine is again all about mental clarity. It's a little bit like going on holiday and just giving your mind the rest that it needs so that when you return from your holiday from your mind you have more calmness, more trust, more connection with your heart and we allow the mind to do exactly what the mind is here to do which is make certain kinds of decisions and gather and inform. So if you just take a look at this image I think you'll see how aquamarine will really give you that sense of beautiful uh, clarity for your way forward. So I have really hope this has been useful for you. I'm going to leave you today with the song of Serato that I recorded uh, several years ago with my music of the plants device. So this is Serato singing for you. I invite you to turn into your, to tune into your own inner priestess. Sit back, close your eyes, and allow Serato to speak to you. Mm -hmm. 